guys, I'm getting ready for the gym. So um, I'm heading out to the gym and um, yeah, I'm going to spend an hour at the gym and then come back, do what I normally do, get some breakfast, get some food. I'm kidding. I don't normally eat anything. I normally just drink the whey protein and then um, that's it for breakfast and then I eat um, dinner. Yeah, basically that's it. So. We're going to the gym, guys. Let's go. This is my first meal after the gym. I got it at Starbucks, guys. All right, guys, so um, we're on the road. We're gonna look for our friend. It's like a five minutes drive, so I'll see you guys when we get there. All right guys, so um, I just got back home. Um, I'm about to make dinner, but I know I told you guys that um, I was gonna film when I got to our friends, but basically we were just picking up from the airport and taking her home. So um, I really got caught up in that. So we're back home and now I'm about to make dinner. It is 2.34. Yeah, time goes by pretty fast and i'm about to make dinner and you guys know that i'm on my health and fitness journey right now um we're about to make dinner and today's dinner is gonna be super super tasty and healthy at the same time so yeah we're about to make dinner so let's go
All right guys, so I finished cutting up my seasonings and my ingredients. Now I'm just gonna um, go ahead and steam this together and then I'll be finished, yeah, basically. So this is it. I got some pak choy, some broccoli, some carrots, and some cabbage. And of course I got some beef over there, yeah. All right guys, so this is the finished look. And I will tell you this, it tastes so yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. It tastes really good. Like I need to open a restaurant. Like I can cook, okay? Like this tastes so, so good. Look. And I did add in some corns. Like y'all, I forgot to show you the corns, but I did add in some sweet corns in there. Even more tastier. Can we put those together? Like, it tastes really good. All right guys, so I'm finished cooking and now I'm about to clean the kitchen up and then basically that will be it for this vlog. But if you want more vlogs, make sure you comment vlogs down below. All right guys, so I'm finished cleaning up the kitchen. I'm finished cooking. Um, just to answer some of you guys' question, what are my new year resolutions? To me, I think new year resolutions like overused, overworked, overly mentioned. It's like, it's, it's, just, it's just done. But for me, I have like personal goals this year. I wanna eat better. I wanna have better health. I wanna improve the way I live and basically I just want to stay consistent with that you know like um, New Year resolutions like overused <laughs> um, I've been going to the gym it's been uh, it's been almost two weeks of consistent getting up early going to the gym working out for an hour and of course I feel pain but it's all about trying to discipline yourself you know when you're going to the gym it's all about having self-discipline and working like 
consistently to get to your goal so um my goal at the gym is to basically just tone my body and especially my legs so i want to tone my body gain some booty of course every girl's dream but yeah i want to tone my body i want to tone my booty and of course help my health you know sometimes people see me and they see this skinny person but listen there is something called skinny fat okay you could be as skinny as hell and you you want to walk like from here to right over there and you out of breath yeah it's skinny fat i used to be that person so i'm i'm, I'm like i'm in the gym trying to improve my health trying to gain some booty and trying to tone my legs so yeah but i want to tell you guys if you go to the gym one day and you feel pain pain mean it's working i don't know why people quit after two days after one day pain mean it's working if you don't feel pain you did not do anything like you're supposed to feel pain but i'm gonna tell you this like after four days of being consistent going to the gym working out feeling pain your body becomes immune to the pain you don't even realize that you're feeling pain anymore it's like it's all about just getting up it's the mindset you know just getting up going to the gym working out you eat breathe sleep on it you're just gonna get up go to the gym work out you just gotta discipline yourself and when you go to the gym you want to push above and beyond your limit so i'm answering your question that's my nutritional tip for you guys so i'm gonna tell you know what you're going to the gym for be consistent like you can go to the gym one day two day feel pain and stop pain is a part of it that's number two three is to go above and beyond your limits you know go above and beyond what you can do let your body speak for you when you're in the gym you know push yourself embrace yourself to do the things that you don't think you can do you know it's all a part of the mindset you know my mindset this year is all about like elevating myself this is where i leave you guys for today and i hope these tips help you guys you know i hope these tips helped um this is the end of today's vlog if you like these vlogs go ahead and comment down below let me know how you feel let me know if these tips helped you guys. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you want more vlogs. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. But make sure you subscribe. Tell your friend and their friends to subscribe. And this is where I leave you guys. Until next time, I'll see you guys in another video.